The NFL opener between the Rams and Bills is just a week away, and as the season approaches, there have been some interesting items in the final run-up of action off the field before we turn our attention to the field. Here are a few insights Wilson gets paid, but not enough the Broncos rewarded their new quarterback, Russell Wilson, a player who certainly added to the eye-popping franchise sale price of $4.6 billion. The deal is impressive from a cash standpoint. Although I have not seen details, reports are that the five extension years are worth $245 million, including $165 million guaranteed. The contract binds Wilson, the former Seahawks quarterback turned Denver signal caller after a trade in March, to the Broncos for seven years and $296 million. However, no matter what the numbers, the fact that it is a contract that's not fully guaranteed is a win, a huge win, for NFL management. Ron Chainoy slash USA Today Sports The Deshaun Watson deal set a precedent, or so we thought, for full guarantees for elite quarterbacks. And while recent extensions for Derek Carr and Kyler Murray did not include those guarantees, the argument could be made that they were not elite-level players. With Wilson, however, there is no such argument. And with his deal now set to run seven years, even Wilson will be vulnerable in future contract talks to a release or a pay reduction. The Broncos have an owner worth $60 billion, and they easily could have funded $250 million or $300 million of future guarantees for their franchise player, but they avoided doing so. That alone is a huge win for management. Ravens owner Steve Biscotti now has the ammunition he needs to repeat assertions by many owners that the Watson deal was an outlier and aberration. It has been up to agents of elite players to push against that narrative, but it clearly has not worked. Now it is up to Lamar Jackson, with or without an agent, to be strong in his stance. He has youth on his side compared to Wilson, and performance on his side compared to Watson. Maybe the Watson deal will not have the ripples many on the player side hoped for. And that is a disappointment, as it will mean NFL contracts, in terms of security and strength for players, will continue to pale in comparison to NBA and Major League Baseball contracts. Hold-ins over holdouts first, let's get some definitions out of the way, along with a pet peeve. A holdout is a player under contract who is not reporting to his team. A holdout is not an unsigned player, such as a rookie yet to sign his first NFL contract or a franchise player yet to sign his one-year franchise tender.